ये आपका जो है वेट जो स्वीट स्वीट ग्रीन मोड इज वेयर दिस वन इज एंड दिस वन इज ग्रीन मोड ओके नाउ फाइन एंड इट इज ओके फाइन डू नॉट डिस्टर्ब इट डू नॉट डिस्टर्ब इट ओके फाइन यू कैन अल्टर योर सीट प्लीज डू नॉट डिस्टर्ब इट ओके वी स्टार्टिंग विद चैप्टर इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ टिग्नोमेट्री बिफोर दैट यू नीड सम कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द दैट वन टिग्नोमेट्री चैप्टर साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा टेन थीटा कॉसेक थीटा and sec theta and all you inform about these formulas like uh, the trick is there pandit badri prasad hazar bole so okay. that and yes correct it is sona means sign c means cos and t for tan sona chandi tole so uh, sin theta cos theta tan theta <coughs> sin theta is equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse cos theta is equals to base upon hypotenuse And tan theta is equals to perpendicular upon uh, base. Perpendicular upon base. This is perpendicular for P, B for base. Fine. Yes. Sir. Till here it is correct. Yes. Sir. You also want to know here uh, the all the trigonometric angles. Yes. Sir. All the trigonometric Angle. angles. Angles. Trigonometric angles. Zero degree, thirty degree, forty-five degree. I feel and uh, I think so. You are comfortable with that all. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. सभी को याद है ना yes, नहीं याद है सो मे आई नीड इट वन सेकेंड टू रिपीट दैट ओके सो वन सेकेंड आई रिपीट इट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा टेन थीटा जस्ट राइट सम नंबर जीरो वन टू थ्री एंड फोर डिवाइड विद द हाईएस्ट नंबर जीरो बाई फोर वन बाई फोर टू बाई फोर थ्री बाई फोर एंड फोर बाई फोर टेक रूट ऑफ एवरी वन रूट ऑफ वन बाई फोर रूट ऑफ टू बाई फोर रूट ऑफ थ्री बाई फोर रूट ऑफ फोर बाई फोर फाइव Now it is zero by four root equals to under root zero equals to zero. One ka root one, four ka root two, two two za four. So the one ka root one or two ka root root two, three root three upon two, and it is one ka root one. Fine. So these are the values. Now starting with the table, the first is theta is zero degree. Then it is thirty degree. Then it is forty five. Then it is sixty. Sixty. Then it is ninety. Ninety. Okay. So we starting to write the numbers here. Respective trigonometric constant. First is sine theta. So as I told you, go from Sagar to Bhopal. Okay. So zero, one by two, one by root two, root three by two, and one. So uh, now we reach Bhopal and it's time to come back. Cos theta one. Uh, root three by two, one by root two, one by two, and zero. Zero. So fine. It is sine theta and cos theta. Now to calculate tan theta, tan theta. Very obvious. You uh, might be know the formula. Tan theta is equals to sine theta on cos theta. Cos theta. So what? Just divide tan theta. Zero upon one equals to zero. One by two root three by two. Two say to cancel. One by root three. One cancel cancel. One. Root three, root three by one. Two say two cancel, and one upon zero is infinite. Not defined some quantity that is one upon zero is infinite. Correct? Yes. So uh, here uh, it is the table that uh, give you the clear idea about the trigonometry ratios. Okay? Fine. In our chapter, in our uh, this chapter, we need only two things: sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. Most common, 99% we using tan theta. Yes, sir. Because tan theta is the formula that directly relate base and perpendicular. Because perpendicular upon base is equals to tan theta. <coughs> okay, so it directly deal with the base and perpendicular. So uh, most obvious we use this formula most of time. After then sin sin theta, then cos theta. This is application of trigonometry. If you knows the formula of all trigonometry ratios. and uh, a value of trigonometry then there will be nothing you needed everything is clear in this chapter let us start with one uh, question uh, very recent we are facing an exam okay going to be held on 31st so only problems for the ncert will be come nothing problem no one problem from the outside that will paper from a only ncert only the level of paper is ncert so we start with the one problem starting with the one problem Before going on the problem, going before going on the problem, yes, any problem? Chapter six, ma'am. 
chapters already uh, send it to your mail id as well as chapter 5 uh, first is trigonometry second is coordinate geometry third one probability okay uh, fourth one arithmetic progression and quadratic equation and yes fine circle construction are not coming that's it circle construction mensuration not coming yes quadratic is coming okay so starting with first question okay here uh, i am starting with a question example number 4 example number 4 on the page 200 example number 4 on the page 200 okay uh, yes no need to disturb it no need i sing the example why you worry from a point p on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of a 10 meter tall building is 30 degree from a point p on the ground A point P on the ground is here. From a point P on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of a 10 meter building. Yeah, angle of elevation and angle of depression are the two things. Yes, Astha Jain, can you tell me what is angle of elevation? So, if we are seeing from down to up, then it is angle of elevation. Angle of elevation made by which line? Baseline or something another line? Baseline. No, it is made by the horizon. It is made by the horizon. It is not made by the ground. Whenever you see, just first... Uh, line up your horizon that is directly from your eyesight straight away from your eyesight okay My, say this is horizon and this is your eye then this one angle if you see the things presented here like object is A then this angle is called angle of elevation and this one angle is called angle of depression okay so two types of angle are here sit down from a point P on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of a 10 meter tall building is 30 degree a building is here yes sir a building is here this is 10 meter tall building Okay, fine. This building, the top of the point of the building is B. Suppose the top point of the building is B, and the base point you can say C uh, is 30 degree. Angle of elevation is 30 degree. Fine. So it is 30 degree. This angle is 30 degree. Okay. Next, a flag is hoisted at the top of the building, and the angle of elevation at the top of the flag starts from point P is 45 degree. A flag is hoisted here. Put up a flag here. Yes. Some height, I don't know what is the height of this flag. Uh, flag ka point F lineage. Okay, fine. Yes. Now, flag is like this. Maybe something written there. Jai Mata Di or whatever flag. Okay. So, flag is staff from point P. The angle of elevation, once again, you see, you want to see this flag. So, angle of elevation of this flag is equal to how much? 45. 45 degree. Okay, next. Find the length of the flag staff. And the distance of the building from the point P. Find the length of the flag staff. First question, find the length of the flag staff. The, do you know this length? No. So it is considered as a variable. So suppose it is X. Do you know this, this length? No. So suppose it Y. Now starting to solve this question. Very easy. Keval ek hi tarika hai har question ka aur har baar usi tarika ko follow karenge. There are two triangles. One is a smaller one and second one is bigger one. There are two triangles. One is a smaller one and second one is bigger one. So tell me, tell me sincerely, in which triangle the most informations are given? A smaller one or bigger one? Yes, a smaller one. So starting with a smaller one triangle, in triangle P, B, C. P, B, C. Now, things are there. Uh, calculations. You need the calculation. You need the calculation between perpendicular and base only because there is no requirement of the hypotenuse question ne kuch bhi hypotenuse ke bare mein nahi pucha hai so there is no requirement of the hypotenuse so only you need this one perpendicular and base perpendicular this one base this one so what is the formula that relating perpendicular to the base pan theta sin theta is equal to perpendicular of hypotenuse cancel cos theta base upon hypotenuse cancel hypotenuse ka koi zarurat nahi idhar pe tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base so apply tan theta so tan theta is equal to perpendicular that is bc upon base is what bc has to see clear yes sir bc upon pc oh yes what is the value of tan theta 30. very good might you see here 45 but 45 degrees for the bigger one triangle it is now it is 30 degree okay so tan 30 
tan 30 degree is equals to perpendicular. How much it is? 10. 10. Upon base. What is this? Y. Y. Fine. It is 10 upon Y. Okay. So uh, now it is 10 upon Y. It's 10. 30 degree equals to 1 by root 3 is equals to 10 upon Y. You can calculate Y is equals to how much? 10. 10 root 3. And the unit is given in meter. So obviously put here meter. Otherwise 0.5 marks will be deducted there. Y is now it is 10.3 meter. Okay, very good. So we have calculated here the base height, or you can say the distance from the point P to the foot of the building. One answer, one answer आ चुका है. आप चाहे तो इसको block के अंदर यहाँ पे बंद करके लगा दें. आप बहुत safe हो जाएंगे. आपका यही answer माना जाएगा. Teacher tick करेगा. Four mark का question है. आपको दो marks यही पढ़ने देगा. आगे की बात करते हैं. Next, you need this one height. Yes or no? Yes. So, you have to take one second this base and this complete one triangle in triangle P, C, F. Yes or no? Yes, sir. In triangle P, C, F. In triangle P, C, F. 10. Yes. What? 45. 45. 45. 45 or 30? 45. 45. Yes. 10, 45 degree is equals to perpendicular. X, X, X plus, plus 10. 10. Upon base. What is base? 10 root 3. Y. Yes, correct. But we have calculated here the Y is 10 root 3. So we can put here 10 root 3. three. Understand? Yes. Now 1045 one, equals to one. One. 1. 1 multiplied by 10 root 3 equal to 10 root 3. So answer 10 root 3 equals to X plus 10. Now you can X plus 10 equals to 10 root 3. So X equals to 10 root 3 minus 10. You can take two. common as 10 answer root 3 minus one. 1. Okay, so this is your uh, uh, height of the flag. Then here we have okay. Don't, yes, one, your answer. No need to solve it again. Yes. Sit down. No need to solve it further. Answer, give full marks. Okay, otherwise you can put 1.732 solve panna hai to multiply karke solve kar sakte. Okay, but do not waste your time, it is fine. Fine? Yes. This one question, only the question like this will come to your exam. Yes. These questions are very easy. E isi variety ka question ban sakta hai. Yeah. Aur most difficult question kya ban sakta hai? Value based question. Ram Shyam to aapko bhule nahi honge abhi tak. No, sir. Ram Shyam ka question. Khidki pe bethe the niche aur upar. To triangle ek baar draw kar lijiye bas. Aur draw karne ke baad to pura question aapse khud banta. Aapko pata hai? Yes, sir. Sir, drawing karte to banta nahi hai. Wo aapko seekhna yeah. padega. Meter. Ah. Meter. Haan. Meter. Meter, yes, very good. Meter. Alert, hard mass. Is correct. So answer is in meter. Fine? Yeah. Any problem? No, yes, sir. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so yes, sir. Nahi, no, sir. Boli. Pe, problem nahi hai to no, sir. Chali. Okay, any more question? Hey, you have doubt in NCRD book? Just look, just uh, give, a, give a slight glance to your book and just see. Does there any question? You having a problem? Yes. Sir, <coughs> once will you tell to me how to make a means? Structure diagram of 14. how to make a diagram. Huh. 14 question. Okay. NCRT question number 14. One by one. One by one. First time going through question number 14. Okay. Any tough one, sir. Question number 14. Uh, which one exercise? One exercise. Only one exercise. Okay, very good. Question number 14. Nine point one. Okay. Day number two, you five. <coughs> Question number 14. Yes. Uh, Anirudh, padhiye, copy padhiye. question number 14. A uh, 1.2 meter tall girls sport a balloon. Yes, wait. Here is a base. Obviously, the girl will be stood on the base. A 1.2 meter tall girl. A 1.2 meter tall girl. This is the foot of the girl. You can say it is F. And this is the head of the girl. It is 1.2 meter. Very fine. 1.2 meter tall girl. Moving with the wind in horizontal line at the height of... Wait, wait. Let's read once again. Start. A girl 1.2 meter tall... No, a 1.2 me, meter tall girl... Is, a 1.2 meter tall girl spots a balloon moving with the wind in a horizontal line at height of 88.2 meter from the ground. Yes. She spot a balloon. She spot a balloon. Here it is balloon. Yes, sir. 88.2 meter. She spot a balloon that is moving right wide. And the height of the balloon is how much? 88.2. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88. 88.
88.2 meter from the ground. From the ground. Speak loudly. Ground. Ground. Yes. So it is ground. From the ground. Now, 1.2 meter is this one. Yes. This is 88.2. Then 88.2 minus 1.2. Seven. Seven. 87. 87. Yes, how much it is? 87. 87.0. 87. 87. 87. 87. 87. 87. This means this height from here to here it is. So you can give some name. It is A. It is B. Okay, it is D. So A B is equals to 87 meter. Okay, so it is 87 meter. Yes. Next. The angle of uh, uh, the angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes of the girl at an instant is 60 degrees. Yes, the angle of elevation. The girl seeing here this balloon. The angle of elevation. This point is how much? 60 degrees. 60 degrees. 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Next. After some time, the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degrees. Yes. Now the balloon comes rightwards. And if it uh, slightly comes rightward, then definitely the angle of the elevation will be reduced here. And this time the angle of elevation is equal to how much? 30 degrees. 30 degrees. 30 degree. Correct? 30 degree? Okay, fine. Now, right. Find the distance travelled by the balloon during okay. the interval. Find the distance travelled by the balloon in the, interval. in the interval. Okay. So, this much distance, say it is x. This much distance you need to find. It is x, so obviously it will be also x. x. Okay, fine. Now we have to start this question. Now we have two triangles. One is this one triangle, and second one is this one triangle. Just join it. We have joined. Now in which triangle most of if this one is x, then this one is also x. x. Yes or no? In which triangle? Uh, say give them a name here the girl G girl G point is there A B uh, some C is not there so C point is there D is there E and F okay so nominations are given सबको मैंने नाम दे दिया A B A equals to C ठीक है इसको E ले चल G ले G G is also there P H P fine okay now start which triangle I have to take first small G sixty degree triangle small is name the triangle G A G B A A G B Yes or no? Yes sir. No? Yes sir. Yes. A G B. Starting with the triangle A G B, you need this one height. That is G B. Consider it y. y. Okay. Let G B distance is equals to Y meter. Okay. Yes. Why directly calculate the bigger triangle? Because in bigger one triangle, you need this one variable also. You need, there will be two, stop, listen me just. There will be two variable, x as well as y. Yes. Ye yahan se idhar gaya? Idhar gaya? x plus y aayega. But this may give a variable aayega. Say yes or no? No. Achcha, dekhi? Yes. This may give a variable aayega. Only this one, y. Dekhi to aap. Now, start with the smaller one. Matla, pehla wala triangle. <coughs> triangle A, G, B. Yes. A, A, G, B. 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 A, G, B. Wait, yes. A, G, B. It's probably dark for you. Now, A, G, B. How much angle is there? 60 degree. 60 degree. 10 theta, sin theta, cos theta. Yes, correct. So, 10, 60 degree is equal to, perpendicular is how much? 87 upon y. y. Harsha Gubinsi, now it is clear? Yes, sir. 87 upon y. Because, this information will go to y. If you take this triangle, then x plus y will be concerned. Say yes or no? Yes, sir. So, 87 plus y. Fine. So, 1060 is equal to how much? Root 3. Root 3 is equal to 87 divided by y. So, y is equal to 87 by root 3. This is this much intermediate distance. No use of this. This is not any work. Okay? This is not any work. So, it is 87 root 3. Fine. 87 root 3. Now, uh, in bigger one triangle. I'm going to take a look at it. Okay. So, we will minus the total value. क्योंकि वो अभी आगे आएगा उसमें ऐड करने के लिए जब ट्रेंगल लगेगा तो काम का नहीं है इसका मतलब ये इंटरमीडिएट रिजल्ट है आपको सलूशन नहीं चाहिए इसका नेक्स्ट टेन इन ट्रायंगल इन ट्रायंगल जी सी ई 
जी सी ई ओके एंड ट्राइंगल जी सी ई यस व्हाट ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक आलू आशीज है व्हाट ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियो आई कैन अप्लाई साइन टेन और कॉस साइन साइन बोल हाँ क्या अप्लाई करेंगे अभी तक टेन अब कुछ नहीं अभी तक समझ में आया ना अभी जो भी पढ़ा कुछ नहीं आया समझ में अब आप साइन कह रहे हैं देख रहे हैं आपको इसमें रिलेशनशिप चाहिए और इसमें रिलेशनशिप है ये एट्टी सेवन है तो ये कितना होगा एट्टी सेवन एट्टी सेवन तो टेन थ्री डे हाइपोटेस का क्या करोगे आप उसने ये नहीं पूछा कि बताइए पतंग की डोर कितनी बड़ी है वो गुब्बारे की डोर कितनी बड़ी है अगर उन्होंने पूछा होता वो गुब्बारे की डोर की लेंथ बताइए तब हाइपोटेनस आता अभी गुब्बारे की डोर नहीं पूछी उन्होंने यस और नो तो फिर ये कैलकुलेट कर यस आया समझ में सो टेन इन ट्राइंगल जी सी ई टेन हाउ मच थर्टी डिग्री और सिक्सटी डिग्री टेन थर्टी डिग्री प्लीज डू नॉट स्पीक मैं जब उनसे पूछता हूं आप मेरे को जवाब देने दीजिए ठीक ना टेन थर्टी डिग्री इज इक्वल्स टू परपेंडिकुलर हाउ मच इट इज एट्टी सेवन एट्टी सेवन नाउ ओनली शी स्पीक्स किसी ने बीच में बोला बाहर जाऊंगा क्लास की एट्टी सेवन एट्टी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई Divided by base. Yes, only you. What is the length of base here? Do not know. X plus five. You speak. I don't speak. You speak. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, yes, X plus y. Yes, X plus y. X plus y. y. Now, see here. We already have y. 87 root 3. Say yes or no? Just put here the value of y. Put here the value of y. What is 10, 30? 1 by root 3. Is equals to 87 into 80 divided by x plus y. X is 87 divided by root 3 plus y. Wait. 83 y is given okay x plus 83 divided by 87 divided by root 3 just wait one minute किससे पूछ के आज मैंने मार्क कभी नहीं बोला बोली तो नो 87 divided by close the door no close the door Close the door. 87 divided by root 3. Now cross multiply. Take this whole here and 87 root 3 here. X plus 87 by root 3 is equals to 87 root 3. Fine? Now X is equals to 87 root 3 minus 87 divided by root 3. Now put the value of root 3 and you can solve. Yes or no? Yes. So this much is the distance x. Answer get. Getting the answer na? Yes. Fine. Understood? Yes. Where? Yes. Here. Cross multiply. This will come up and this will come up. Yes. Fine? Thank you.